Hello students, I hope all of you are doing good. As we all know that the world is fighting against this pandemic COVID-19, it's my humble request to all the students, stay home, stay safe and do follow the guidelines which are given by the government. Finally, we are going to begin with the online classes of mathematics. So before I start this video, just pause this video for a while, go grab your copy and pen. Let's get started. Hello students, so let's start with the very first and the basic chapter of mathematics which is common for both class 7th and 8th. This is multiplication and division of integers. So the very first thing to know about is what are integers? What are integers? So now listen to me very carefully. Integers are set of numbers made up of positive numbers, negative numbers and the number 0 itself. I'll write the definition. It's better for you to write the definition as well. That integers are set of numbers made of positive numbers negative numbers and the number 0 itself so we all know what are positive numbers what are negative numbers and we all know that this combination of positive and negative numbers is nothing but collectively called as integers. Let's take some examples. For examples, if I say number minus 3 or I say number minus 2 or I say number minus 1. All these numbers are called as negative numbers or negative integers. These are the numbers 1, 2 and 3. But as we can see that there is a minus sign in front of each number. It means they all are negative integers. If I say, let's take number 1, 2, 3 and so on. We can see all these numbers are positive numbers. Why? Because it's very clear that in front of each number there is no sign. And when there is no sign, we just assume that the sign is positive. So these are positive integers or positive numbers. These are negative integers or negative numbers. And it's my simple question. What lies between the number minus 1 and 1? So it's pretty common. The number is 0. So as we can see, we have got certain list of numbers that is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. All these numbers constitute to form the number integer. Integer is represented by the capital letter which is I or sometimes it's also represented by the capital letter Z. Now the next thing is can we represent these numbers on a number line? Because number line is the best way to understand the set of integers. So let's make a number line. Suppose this is our number line. In the middle, the number lies 0. On the right hand side, we all are familiar that the numbers which are taken on the right hand side on the number lines are always positive. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and so on. On the left hand side, the numbers remain the same but the sign changes. It's very important just remember that on the left hand side on the number line the numbers are written but with the negative sign. Example minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So this is called as the number line. It's a common thing which every student must remember. This is called as the number line. So it's a number line representing the set of integers. 